Hey everybody, how are y'all doing? It is Wednesday and I'm here live like I do most Wednesdays and I'm excited to be here because I am going outside of my comfort zone today and making an Asian dish, a simplified version, but, but the traditional version um, isn't very complicated and that is always comforting to me because I don't cook a lot of Asian food and it I find myself a little bit overwhelmed. So when I find a recipe like this, that seems super doable and I can understand um, why they're doing what they're doing in the dish. I love that. So this is a Shanghai style noodle. It's often called scallion noodles because you use two bunches of scallions um, or green onions. My mother calls these shallots, but they're scallions. <laughs> um, you use two bunches of these and they are incorporated into the dish at different times. So I have several things I wanna talk about because I've already started part one. So here's what's happening in my wok. And you can do this in a skillet, easy peasy. So I've taken my two bunches of scallions and cut them into short lengths. So this scallion got cut into four pieces. And then I separated out the white and the green. And I took the white part and I slivered them. And I'm gonna do that for you guys here in just a second. Um, but I made a white part in a green part. I made two piles. So the whites go in the wok in very hot oil and I'm using our avocado oil, just all natural avocado oil, no flavor. And unlike olive oil, avocado oil on its own doesn't taste like avocados. Olive oil tastes like olives. Avocado oil is neutral. So it's a great replacement for your canola oil and it has a high heat tolerance. So that smoke point that you may have heard of, it's very high with avocado oil. So it's a great tool to have on your side as you're cooking. If you're grilling at high heat, uh, woks get really hot really quickly. Cast iron gets really hot really quickly. So you wanna move away from your olive oil over to your higher heat oils and avocado oil is a great one. So what's happening in this skillet is that there's one third of a cup of avocado oil. My scallion whites went in, they're frying and browning. And look, I'm going in with half of the green. So you wanna leave part of the greens raw because they go in at the end. And so I wanna mix these greens in and they're gonna fry briefly and they're gonna get a little bit of browning and then we're gonna remove them. So not only are we cooking, frying the scallions, but we're scenting the oil with the scallions. And it smells amazing in here. I hope you make this. You might have these things on hand. You might have two bunches of scallions, who knows? But super easy to get your hands on these ingredients. And um, this is gonna come together quickly. So got my scallions in. And before I went live, I made the noodles. So. This is a wheat noodle. So when you go into the Asian section or the Asian market, there's gonna be lots of noodles and you'll see rice noodles um, but you, and um, egg noodles, but you want a wheat noodle. And you just turn the package to the back and read the in ingredients. And this is a slim wheat noodle. It is flat, kind of like a lo mein. But lo mein isn't the best choice. It's a little too big. So this is about the size of a spaghetti. So I'm thinking you could get away with using spaghetti if that's what you have. Um, but these are great noodles. And then you, that's a really big package and you only need 10 ounces. So you wanna weigh those. So I've cooked 10 ounces of these noodles in very salty wa water and they are al dente. They're not quite completely tender, but look at this. They're gorgeous. So we're gonna pull those out. Those go back in in just a second. 
I'm going to pull those out and you've got this oil in your skillet or your wok and it is scented and it is ready to go because we're going to go in with ground pork. You can do this with ground chicken, but we got ground pork and it's a half a pound. So I'm going to go in with a half a pound and I'm going to season with, first I want to, oh, here I am. So I want to season with our, I'm coming back, sashimi togarashi. That is the spice blend I'm going to use. But in I go with my ground pork. I'm going to break it up. And that's going to cook in the oil. And I'm going to go in with my spice blend. So I'm going to go in with a tablespoon of sashimi togarashi. And then I'm going to step away because it's spicy and rich. And it's going to come into the air. And I'm going to cough. I did an olive oil tasting, a virtual olive oil tasting for a corporate group recently. They were a mess, but we had a blast. And we talked about when you taste olive oils. A lot of olive oil professionals will refer to a one, two, or three cough oil. So as you taste that oil, you get that bitterness, and that spiciness in the back, and you cough. Such a good thing. So they were all showing off their one, two, or three cough tastes, and I loved it. Okay, stand back a little bit. Sashimi togarashi, let's talk about that. Chilies, lots of onion and garlic, lots of yummy umami flavors, and seaweed. That's where you get that, can't quite put your finger on it. What is that flavor? And that's what it is. So how do I use sash sashimi togarashi? Don't say it too fast. I use it on shrimp skewers. I use it in, if I'm just throwing it, I do a lot of clean the fridge stir frying and I'll use sashimi togarashi on that chicken thigh or shrimp um, as I go in with that stir fry. So really yummy. So I wanna show you these guys. This is that big package of these wheat noodles and I measured out 10 ounces and I cooked those before I went live, but I have tons of these now to use another time. And I just turned the package and read, saw that it's a wheat noodle, no eggs, it's not a rice noodle and off to the races. And they had really like wide ones and then very, very thin sort of vermicelli looking ones. And I got the ones that were similar in size to say an udon noodle or um, like a spaghetti. Okay, I wanna show you what I did with the scallion. Let's see if I can show you guys, get my parsley out of the way. So here's my scallion and I wanna cut off the top of course, and then I'm gonna go halfway. And so there's my, the white section and here's the green. So you wanna differentiate those two and then you wanna take each section and you're going to cut it in half and cut it in half again. And with a smaller knife, you could use the tip of the knife and just do some slivering. But however you get there, what you want is those slivers that break apart. And so you get all that surface area that fries in those little pieces that fry and crisp up in the oil. So you want these sort of short pieces that you've slivered and you've got all these nice slices. So I'll keep doing that for you guys. Okay, cut that in half and half again. And you make your bowl of whites. And then with the greens, I just cut them in half. I didn't, um, I didn't want the slices that small and they're much more tender when you get down to this end. So I just cut them in half. So what's happening in my wok, which is what we want to happen, is the edges of this pork is, and look, I'm gonna throw these whites in this bowl and it's gonna be just fine. The edges of the pork is crisp, getting crisp. So that's what you wanna see is those browned edges that are starting to get crisp. You need that fond and flavor off the bottom of the 
skillet or wok, but you also want the text texture. Woo! So that's beautiful. I got some really, really brown, crispy bits, and that's gorgeous. And I actually want more of those. So the way you're going to get that is managing your heat. Well, how am I doing that? I'm spreading this out toward the edges and making sure I have small pieces making contact with this really hot wok so that I get those crispy edges. It's the same thinking. It's the same thing when we talk about in our sheet pan classes that we're not loading up those sheet pans when we're roasting cauliflower or broccoli. Um, a lot of times we'll do kind of a large head of cauliflower, cut it all up, and we'll split that between two sheet pans so that we get this nice big space and all this surface area so that we can get brown crispies because that's what everyone wants. Okay, so now we are going in with soy sauce and sugar. So it's a third cup of soy sauce and three tablespoons of sugar. You're gonna stir that and that's gonna bubble and it's gonna get thick on you really quickly. And then we start bringing in, you want this to reduce just a little, show you what it looks like. You can see it's starting to thicken up and you really want to be able to tilt that and see some syrupy trails on the bottom. So we want that to get a little bit thicker. But I wonder if any of you are thinking about what's in the freezer and pantry right now. And can I make this right now? Because this is so very simple. Okay. So let me clean up a little bit because I'm going to start. Oh, let me cut my garnish because I'm going to hit this with a little something fresh on top. You know, this is, this is a rich dish. Um, there is, you know, we're frying in oil. And so you want to brighten it up with something fresh at the end. So you could use more scallion if you wanted to. I'm just going to hit it with some parsley. It would be lovely if you wanted to bring some heat to the party. Some sliced jalapeno would be really nice. And then our always favorite trick to dishes is to do a little pickled something on top, which you know, if you come to my classes, if you watch my Facebook Lives, I'm all about a little quick pickled something to bring some interest. Let me move this around because we are about to bring back in our onions. So we've got our fried onions going in. And then we've got the fresh going in. So you have that contrast between those cooked onions and the crunchy fresh onions. So I'm going to get that incorporated. And then we're going to start working in. Our noodles are cooked noodles and let that coat those noodles. So let me get that going. I'm a little messy today. Bring those noodles in. And at this point, you're cooked through, your sauce has thickened, so you are good to turn that heat off. But I'm gonna start bringing them in gradually. And this is a great noodle bowl. This would be even better tomorrow for lunch. And start incorporating these noodles in and get them coated with that sauce and then serve them up. So this has been fun for me. This is a trek outside my comfort zone. This is something different for me. This is not a part of the culinary world that I venture very far into. So this was fun for me to play around with this recipe and feel confident. And that's what this is all about. So we cannot wait to get you guys back in this kitchen. Right now we're doing very, very small classes. We have a handful of classes up on the website where only four people are on the roster. So you'll see those sell out quickly because we want to distance everyone. And then we have another option. You can book your group in a group of eight, a familiar group. 
your family, your corn team, and get them in here. And those are maxed out at eight. So staff is in masks 100% of the time, and our guests wear masks unless we're actively eating or drinking. So we'd love to have you in the classroom, and I hope Lily is watching because this dish is right up her alley, and I know that she would love to teach this one. Y'all, look what I did so fast. I didn't use all the noodles. That 10 ounces of noodles, I decided I was good right here. You can certainly fold them all in if you want to. That is gorgeous. That makes me super happy. All right. I know better than to use chopsticks on Facebook Live. I'm using a fork. You will use chopsticks at home. Let's see how I did. So nice noodle bowl. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. That is supper, you guys. Come on. A little bit of fresh on top of there. You can certainly do those jalapenos. And now I'm going to channel all my bad manners and eat in front of you guys. This was fun. I hope this was inspiring. Just a few ingredients, a couple of pantry staples, and a nice Asian spice blend. And there you go. That's crazy good. Oh, that's so good. Holy moly. It's spicy, but it's good. All right. So the rest of the noodles are going in because that's spicy. So good, you guys. See you next time. Bye.